Hello everyone, welcome to Cam Time MA Creations and another tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to add individual rolls of ruffles to your ruffle hat. So as always, I don't like to dawdle, so let's get started. How is everyone doing on today? And welcome back to my channel. I'm just going to use a simple category 3 yarn that I doubled, a 4.5 millimeter hook, and a stitch marker. I will leave these tools in the description box. So we're going to start off with a magic circle. If you don't know how to do a magic circle, I do have a tutorial on how to do a magic circle, but you can also just chain five and slip stitch into the first chain and chain two. So I'm going to go here and finish up my magic circle and chain two. Now I'm going to turn so those strings are on top and in this loop here, I'm going to add 10 double crochets. This is row one. So for my beginners, you yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. So continue making your double crochets into this uh, space here. And I will come back when I have a row of 10 double crochets. Now we're going to go in and make a slip knot into that first stitch. When you make this slip knot, you should have 10 double crochets going around for row one. Go ahead and chain two, yarn over, and go into that first stitch with two double crochets. Now, if most of you already know how to make a hat, you can go ahead and skip forward to the next section where I begin making the ruffles. Okay, we're at the end of row two and we're going into row three. So we'll slip stitch into that first stitch of the row. And now continue on, chain two instead of one. Go back into that stitch with two double crochets. This is row three. And now one double crochet into the next double crochet from the previous row. And now two double crochets. So that is the pattern for this row here. Those are the steps or the end of the row. And I'm going to slip stitch. And this is now row four. Please remember to chain two. Go into the first stitch and make two double crochets. We are still increasing. Once you've made your two double crochets, make one double crochet into the next two stitches. That's one. And in your next stitch, another double crochet. And now in the next stitch, you will make two double crochets. And that is the repeat for this row. So you start off with two double crochets, make one individual cro double crochet into each of the next two spaces and then two double crochets into the next stitch. So I will continue with this. So now I'm going to slip stitch into that first stitch again. We are now stepping into row five. So put your slip stitch in there. And I also wanted to let you know that you don't always, if you can't see where your first stitch is, a stitch marker is good to work, will work. Um, you can also use a bobby pin, a paper clip, or um, another piece of yarn. You don't have to have a stitch marker. Um, so I'm going to take this out, and it just helps to show you where that first stitch is of the row. And I'm going to go into that stitch and make a slip stitch. Sorry about this, yarn. I guess it hates the fact that I doubled it. It's really not that thick. I might have made this stitch just a little tight. So go ahead and slip stitch and chain two. Do as I say, not as I do. So now go into the stitch again with another two double crochets and this is row five. After you've made your two double crochets, make one double crochet in the next three stitches across. So that's one, this is two, and three. And now in the next stitch, you make another two double crochets. 
so those are the steps for this row okay so we're at the end of the round and we should have 50 double crochets around so now I'm going to slip stitch and please chain two go into your first stitch with a double crochet with two double crochets we are still increasing now you're going to add four double crochets going across so in the next four double crochets you will put one double crochet this is two this is three Oops, make sure when using double yarn, make sure that you're grabbing all of that yarn, both of those pieces of yarn. Let's try that one more again. Okay. Now that was my, I think that was four. Okay, now this is four. So there's two in the first, four double crochets going across and then two double crochets in the next stitch so continue this pattern going all the way around continue on okay so we're almost there we are now going into row seven and row seven is fairly simple you just go in with some double crochets all the way around so i'm at the end of row seven i'm going to go ahead and uh, slip stitch into this one but I'm going to take off my uh, cut off my excess string because now I want to go into making my ruffles so I'm going to snip this off give it a good amount of length so that you can weave it in later and I'm going to go down to one of these pieces of yarn so go ahead and incorporate that yarn in I've never been good at doing this part and when you go in go ahead and make a chain of three so now normally with this um, with your ruffles you're gonna go into we're gonna do it like normal and go into our first stitch with ten double crochets after you've made your ten double crochets you are going to skip a stitch so I'm going to make my 10 double crochets into this first stitch here of my row so just like a normal ruffle hat you're going to put 10 double crochets into each stitch the only difference is again you're just going to skip a stitch so I'm going to continue and make my way around remember it's 10 double crochets into each of the stitches back okay so I'm at the end of the row and I've made all my double crochets so now instead of going back into each of these double ten double crochets here we're gonna switch it up so when you get to the end of the row right in the back of those ten double crochets you will see a double crochet this is in the previous row that is where you're going to go so it's kind of like doing a back post it is a back post double crochet technically but you're going to put 10 of them in there so take your hook and go right into that stitch like you're making a back post double crochet i'm sorry a front post double crochet that's incorrect so like you're making a front post double crochet you're going to put 10 double crochets into that area okay so this is what we have i did run out of a little bit of yarn i lost that yarn chicken so i'm not happy about that but you see the two rows here everything is brought together and now this is what the three rows look like once i turn it that's what the three rows look like it came very nice came out nice i really like this um go ahead and remember to if you want to you can add some white so i want to thank you for watching this tutorial please don't forget to like and subscribe